Traders, I'm done for the day. Here's my result, which is fantastic because I'm up $26,000. But as you can take a look at uh, my other uh, all of my trades, you see that I have one major winner, which is an amazing winner. That's Tesla. But uh, look at the rest. Uh, in fact, I have three losers. One of them is kind of small. Uh, the rest are, I don't know, normal. Uh, actually, Riot is a big loss because I added, I trusted it to come down. Let's talk about it a little bit. But before I talk about uh, some of my trades here, let's take a look at uh, what really happened today to the S&P 500 because when the S&P 500 is going the way it did today, it's an extremely hard day to trade. So when you see the S&P behaving the way it did today, um, I'm lucky to be green. In fact, I'm lucky to have one great trade in Tesla that uh, saved my day and more than that. But take a look at uh, the way the market started today. We started with the gap down. You would expect the market to have some pressure to move up, close the gap, which maybe just did that, but a bit late, and then to come down. So initial move was up, then the second move was down under the lows. At that point, you think, well, the market did start with a gap down, try to move higher, and should continue the downtrend. Um, and that was the point, for example, where I took uh, Uber short, right over here, expecting the market to continue coming down. And the market failed to come down. As you can see, it spiked and touched the highs. Did not continue over. But that was exactly the point where Uber did the same and just moved higher, took me out of my trade and then just continued to go sideways. Maybe it's going to come down today, maybe not. But Uber was supposed to continue coming down because it was a gap and go. But that was uh, uh, failed mainly because of uh, market direction. Now, if you continue to look at uh, the market behavior, we consolidated near the highs and then finally we decided to move down and move under the lows. That was the time, I mean, before that happened, when I saw the market slowly approaching uh, the lows. That was the time where I thought, well, okay, so we did start with a gap down today, therefore we're likely to come down. So how about Tesla, which is trending lower? As you can see, Tesla is trending clearly lower. So I took the Tesla trade, thinking that the market is very likely to continue coming down. And that worked out perfectly well until the point where it spiked up because the market did the same. Look at the way, look at what happened here. Now you may remember I mentioned it uh, real time today when I saw the market touching a new low and then I saw the next green candle even before it was so bright and green. I just saw the fact that the market did not continue under the lows and I said, well, I don't really like that. The market didn't really like moving lower that much. And the fact that we came under the lows and immediately moved up a bit, which turned out to be a big spike up, that was uh, some of the you know strongest um, technical indications for a change of direction. You know, when, when, when you see the market touching a new low and failing to move higher, and then you have a reversal at the lows, which you can say after the second green candle, I mean, after the first green candle, when the second green candle started, that's some of the biggest indications of market changing directions. When you have a new low, which is supposed to be a breakdown and you don't have the breakdown and you have a bottoming tail at the point of the breakdown and then the market starts to move higher, start thinking that there's a very good chance that the market will change direction. That's why I moved out of the rest of my Tesla trade and still in green territory with the rest of my green, my Tesla trade, although I was really hoping to have a fantastic winner with my last uh, 400 shares in Tesla, which at some point I did have. Well, that just did not continue. And that's mainly because the market changed direction once more. Changed direction once in the first 10 minutes, which you can excuse the market for that because it's the first 10 minutes. But then this is uh, <laughs> something you can't excuse. This is something that... Uh, doesn't often happen and when it does happen then it uh, creates a lot of uh, losing trades and I, I was lucky enough not to lose in Tesla but I wasn't that lucky with Riot because with Riot I thought well the market is coming down Riot was uh, a trade I took later and that's why Tesla had the time to come down with the market and uh, and become a green trade. However, Riot just didn't have the time. When Riot started coming down and should have continued because it came down under the lows, 
That was the time I added to write. Now I have a big loser in write because I was trusting the market to continue coming down. That did not happen. With the market changing directions, it's one of the worst things that can happen to you. So I'm kind of lucky that I still had this big winner in Tesla that covered all of my other losses. So I have three losing trades, two winners. Second winner is Boeing. I mean, Boeing doesn't care about anything today. As you can see here, Boeing started uh, moving higher. You know, if you look at uh, my uh, daily picks, the one I posted uh, pre-market time, uh, you may be surprised. I mean, take a look here. You may be surprised to find Boeing in that list. You see, Boeing is on my long list. Now, I don't usually post uh, stocks that are just marginally up. I mean, Boeing was up 0.6% pre-market time when I saw that. So when I saw Boeing uh, up 0.6%, pre-market time. I also watched the daily. I also watched the airlines. I thought, well, this could be the day of Boeing. So I was watching Boeing. It was on my list. And look at this beautiful technical formation right before it moved to a new high. And I'm very glad I took that because it was a, a multiple point winner. So, you know, not all went wrong today. Huge trade in Tesla. Nice winner in Boeing. An unpleasant loser in Riot, which I mainly blame. <laughs> not myself, but the S&P 500. It's convenient, right? Well, I could do that. Uh, <laughs> and um, so anyway, uh, I'll finish green today, so I'm happy. Um, I hope you guys are doing good too. And um, again, we've got this fantastic uh, promotion, February promotion that is still going on, that you are very welcome to join. And um, there's uh, plenty of links right below this video because it's going to be a video and uh, that you can join. And uh, again, if you join the first two hours, you also get a $300 voucher. So there's plenty of opportunities here if you like to join us, starting at $350 for a package that includes education and a funded trading account. Now we would like you all, we, we, we thank you all for joining us. And if you're on YouTube, uh, we will really appreciate if you give us a thumb up, helps our channel, helps more people like you uh, join us and uh, learn about this wonderful and sometimes very dangerous world of uh, day trading. <laughs> it's not as easy as it may look, but well, mostly it's fine if you're experienced enough. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for being with us and uh, see you all tomorrow. Bye traders.